Well, it might have been just another drug ripoff and double killing in the city had it not involved the sons of a high-ranking diplomat in South Florida. One of her sons was killed, the other charged with murder. The youngest, we learned today, will not be going to prison as a result of a plea deal. CBS 4's Gary Nelson was in the courtroom. 15-year-old Mark Wabafiabazu Friday dodging what could have been a life sentence for a drug ripoff that turned doubly fatal. Also in court, his mother, former Canadian consul to Miami, Roxanne Dubay. In March 2015, Mark and his older brother Jean went to a Coralway apartment looking to rip off a dope dealer for five grand worth of pot. In a shootout, Mark's older brother was killed, but not before he fatally wounded Joshua Wright, the drug dealer. Now, you're going to have to stay in the United States. You know that. The little brother reached a deal Friday that will see him do up to 18 months in a boot camp, two years house arrest, and eight years probation. His mother grateful. It's the mother that is the happiest in the world because I get, I get to have my son back. And um, um, I would hide if I wouldn't say it's been difficult. She will never get her older son back, shot dead in the botched ripoff. The defense called Mark's plea deal a just one. This is a young man that does have significant redeeming qualities. Uh, unfortunately made a horrible decision to hang out uh, with his older brother, who apparently was up to no good. Prosecutors noted the younger brother wasn't armed, did no shooting. This gives him a chance to straighten out his life. And if he takes that chance, he will go forward. If he fails, he will be harshly punished. A second chance for this boy who entangled himself with drugs and murder. A second chance, providing he stays straight. Judge Teresa Pooler sternly warned the diplomat's youngest son today that if he fouls up in boot camp, violates the terms of his subsequent house arrest and probation, it's off to prison for 60 years. In Miami, Gary Nelson, CBS 4 News.